Hello again, everybody. This is Dan Clauser, president of the Big Vision Foundation, out here on Charlie Wagner Field. You can see we've got our irrigation system coming in right now. Um, guys are out here working, getting the lines laid for the irrigation. Um, by next week, this grass will be skinned and uh, sod, Kentucky bluegrass sod, will be getting installed. Um, in the meantime, our wall on uh, Wagner Field here continues to progress. Um, and see this uh, orange paint line here is basically the edge of what will be the warning track. Um, this here is the edge of our fence line. So as you come back this way, each of these little flags are actually sprinkler heads or future sprinkler heads. So uh, get out into the uh, into the grass of the outfield. Um, just come down here. This here is basically where our bullpen will be in left field. Um, end up having four foot chain link fence on top of here, core drilled into this concrete wall. Um, the concrete portion of the wall here on Wagner Field will be padded um, with four foot by eight foot sheets of outfield wall padding. Basically go along here um, to be behind our catcher. Chain link fence will tie into the field here, running out this way. And then uh, just like it's uh, just like its counterpart in Boston, our foul line will be pretty much right about here. So we'll only have about three foot of foul territory in the left field corner here. Should make for some pretty interesting caroms and stuff like that. Kind of see how they're uh, getting the uh, steel purlims installed and the face of the, the monster will be applied right to that bolted um, half inch sheets of plastic four by eight and four by twelve um, so basically right now I'm standing at um, just a little above or a little below field level as you can see uh, the chalk lines here are actually going to be our field level so all this material here will end up getting blended in this is still built up so it's easier for these guys to get onto the wall and uh, work on that but really within the next day or two um, this uh, this earth will be blended back into the outfield um, I want to make sure I don't lose my cameraman here as we're trekking through this uh, this area here um, so as we head out towards center field um, again when you stand here and kind of look up um, you get a pretty good idea as to the the full height of this thing and it's uh, it's really pretty impressive to see it come together at this point um, so uh, as we come along here again heading towards center field um, so we get into the uh, the start of the triangle here in left center this here is where the, the wall will drop from 30 feet high to 16 feet high in center. Um, again, this will all be padded uh, to protect the players. Here uh, padded again, plastic up top. See our, uh, our drainage here, four inch drain pipe running out along the center field wall. We come across here. Again, at this point, the chain link fence will start to tie in right here. Again, running over to that sign. Um, kind of take a walk out here. Um, see how we're getting our right field area filled in, creating our pesky pole. Um, so again, we would now be beyond the center field fence. Um, this whole roadway here um, will shortly be wiped away. Um, 
watch our fabric here. <clears throat> All this down here will get filled in with uh, with a lot of that dirt right there. Center field will come out to this sign. Come back in here where we have our silt socks. Um, making sure we uh, don't have any erosion and sediment. Um, this here will pretty much be where our walkway will start and come into play. Have our beautiful archway in there. Um, this guy's been out here with the, the roller to get this good and firm so it's compact so that we don't have throughout the season um, or as time goes by we want to make sure this gets all packed down solid so that it's firm and we don't have uh, anything um, just washing away or settling throughout the years. So um, the backfill process here again is just taking some of this dirt, bringing it in, packing it down good with the roller um, so it's good and firm. We probably have a good three to four feet of fill in here now, but it's solid. I could drive my truck out here without having any issues whatsoever. Um, so they'll keep going across here, keep packing it down, building it up, packing it down, building it up, packing it down again to eliminate any type of erosion or settling um, over the course of time. Um, so our foul pole will uh, be getting yanked out here in another day or so. Um, that'll end up getting put back to around here, adding about 30 feet to the right field corner. Um, and then that'll, just like Pesky's pole in Boston, will come out this way and hook back toward the triangle. So uh, things are coming together here. Um, uh, I'd say we probably had about uh, 30 people out here today, all in all, um, between uh, doing the warning track on Kurowski, the uh, getting the sprinkler heads installed here. As you can see how they have this trenched. Um, wires are in, and uh, sprinkler heads getting ready to go in. Um, so as these guys continue to fill in right field. We will continue to add to these these sprinkler heads. And again, this here is where the warning track will come. The orange paint line, white paint line is the edge of the fence. Um, so things are, are starting to take shape. Finally got some decent weather, although we do have some rain in the forecast the next couple days. Um, but these guys will keep working. Um, Calavito Field is coming together nicely as well. Our guy's been down there giving that some TLC, um, reworking the, uh, the walk-up paths. Um, Vic Wirtz Field is getting some TLC as well, putting new walk-up paths in there. And uh, come this weekend, the, uh, the group of kids that will be in here will uh, be playing on some pretty nice fields. So Again, this week we'll be giving you guys daily updates. Today is uh, Tuesday, April 1st, um, so check back with us tomorrow. Be sure to check out our Facebook page, YouTube, and uh, we'll be giving you daily updates as how everything is progressing out here this week. So thanks again. Don't forget to check us out at www.bigvisionfoundation.org.